Well, this isn't going to be awkward at all, is it? Let's get going. Boom, 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 ting, boom, 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 boom. We are walking around the South Oval of the OU Norman campus. Coming up first is Nielsen Hall. This is the physics and astronomy building. I have very many memories here, a few of which are good, some of which involve asbestos. Then coming up here, you have two buildings connected. Strike that, not connected, but really close to each other. The first is Gittinger Hall. Gittinger is the home of the English program. And then the second building here is Kaufman Hall. Kaufman is the home of all foreign language programs on campus. Uh, one thing that OU focuses in, because we have a lot of petroleum engineering students come in from foreign countries, is we have a relatively strong Arabic program. This next building has undergone significant renovations in the past year, and in fact is just finishing them up. This is Collings Hall, home of the Janine Rainbolt College of Education, um, and as its name suggests, it houses the education program. Copeland Hall is home of the university newspaper, the Oklahoma Daily. Not to be confused with Oklahoma City's newspaper, the Daily Oklahoman. And then this lovely building that we're coming up on is Dale Hall. It's home of the psychology and anthropology departments, as well as uh, holding some of OU's largest classrooms. So we're coming up <clears throat> at the base of the South Oval right now. I started at what's commonly thought of as the top of the north side. This is the seed sower, based on a sermon by the first president of the university, David Ross Boyd, for whom Boyd Street is named after. The seed sower symbolizes the hope and opportunity of every University of Oklahoma student. When David Ross Boyd first arrived at the university, it was barren. There wasn't a single tree on the entire campus, or for that matter, in the entire city of Norman. Instead of being disheartened, President Boyd looked around and he said, what possibilities? This phantasmatastic building is Gaylord Hall, home of the College of Journalism at OU. This is the second phase of Gaylord Hall, three stories tall. You can see the architecture uh, represents the university's Cherokee Gothic style of design, which is found on buildings all throughout campus. This used to be bar none, the ugliest building on campus. Rather ironic. It was torn down a couple years ago. Uh, the College of Architecture is now temporarily housed in the Hobby Lobby on Main Street. And they are rebuilding Gould Hall. In the springtime, this portion of the South Oval will be completely filled with flowers, making for a beautiful, beautiful centerpiece of the university. This is George Lane Cross Hall, the home of botany and microbiology at OU. And this is one of the buildings that has the most persistent rumors about steam tunnels under the campus, uh, just because they do deal with a lot of biological, uh, biological stuff, I guess we'll say. This building is Richards Hall, the home of zoology at OU, one of our largest majors and therefore one of the largest buildings. Even though they're not technically on the South Oval, they're close enough to count. Over here we have Adams Hall and Price Hall, which are connected buildings that together make up the Price College of Business. Asp Avenue forms the western edge of what's known as the South Oval. And when I say western, I really mean eastern, because that way is north. And so with that... What is that? What is that? Aaron? I saw you yesterday. Rhonda, I'll see you tomorrow.